the adequate notice of this regular meeting as required by the Open Public Meetings Act was provided by the posting, mailing, delivery, and filing of the notice on January 12, 2024. This notice was on that date posted on the bulletin board in the township office, sent to the Courier News and TAP into Warren, and filed with the township clerk of the township of Warren, all in accordance with the requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Hagel. I will now call the roll. Mr. Desai. Here. Mrs. Fightbaum. Here. Ms. Keller. Here. Mr. Molfetta. Here. Mr. Otto. Here. Mr. Tor. Here. Mr. Valentino? Here. Mr. Weinstein? Here. Mrs. Ahn? Here. We have perfect attendance. <clears throat> Whereas the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10-4-11, permits the Board of Education to meet in closed session to discuss certain matters, now therefore be it resolved the Board of Education adhering to closed session to discuss the collective bargaining agreement and or negotiations related to it, matter involving the purchase, lease, or acquisition of real property with public funds, and specific perspective for current employees unless all who be adversely affected request an open session. Action will be taken on the turn to public session. The length of the meeting is anticipated to be approximately 30 minutes and be further resolved that the minutes of this closed session be made public when the need for confidentiality no longer exists. May I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? And we are now in executive session. <laughs>
Sorry. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? The board is now back in session. Resolved that the Board of Education approves the public and private session minutes of the March 18th, 2024 board meeting. Second. Second. All right, I'll call the roll on the minutes. Mr. Desai? Yes. Mrs. Feitbaum? Yes. Ms. Keller? Yes. Mr. Malfetta? Yes. Mr. Otto? Yes. Mr. Tor? Yes. Mr. Valentino? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Yes. And Mrs. Zahn? Yes. All right. Passes 9 0. Thank you. Correspondence and information. Thank you. There is no correspondence to report. There were a total of seven HIV investigations since our last meeting, one at AOT, which was not confirmed, one at Central, which was not confirmed, one at Woodland, which was not confirmed, and four at the middle school, one of which was confirmed. And on the suspension report, there were two in-school suspensions at Woodland and one at the middle school. Thank you, Dr. Mingle. Good evening and welcome to the April 29th meeting of the Board of Education. I hope that everyone enjoyed their spring break and the celebrations of the many holidays that fall this time of the year. I would like to thank the Lions Club of Warren for their gener generous donation of funds to support the LLB classroom project at the middle school and which appears on tonight's agenda as item B5. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge that April is Autism Awareness Month. This is a time when we can all commit to amplifying the voices of our autistic and neurodiverse neighbors, friends, and family members, and in listening and learning about their experiences. The Warren schools are committed to providing a safe, nurturing, yet challenging environment for all our students. Providing our students with an outstanding education that engages students and fosters academic excellence, healthy social and emotional development, and a lifelong passion for learning could not happen without this being a shared commitment between the community as represented by this board and our teachers and support staff. So it is with great appreciation that I announce that the Warren Township Education Association and the district have agreed on contract terms for the next four years, beginning July 1, 2024. The current teacher's contract expires on June 30th. Through the time consuming but respectful and fair efforts of the board's negotiation team and the WTEA's negotiation team, there will be no gap as we move seamlessly into the next contract term. I want to thank the board's team led by Ms. Keller and consisting of Mr. Weinstein and Mr. Tor and express our appreciation and thanks to the WTEA's negotiation team as well. With that, Ms. Keller, would you please read the resolution approving the contract? Resolved that the Board of Education approves the 2024 through 2028 WTEA collective agreement which was ratified by the WTEA membership on April 29th, 2023. May I have a second? Second. Mr. Hagen? All right, so this is on motion C-19, ratifying the uh, agreement between the board and the WTEA. Mr. Desai? Yes. Ms. Feitbaum? Yes. Ms. Keller? Yes. Mr. Molfetta? Yes. Mr. Otto? Yes. Mr. Tor? Yes. Mr. Valentino? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Yes. And Mrs. Zahn? Yes. Do we have an agreement? Now zero. Thank you. Superintendent's remarks, Ms. Dr. Mingo. Thank you, Mrs. Zahn. Congratulations to the board and to the WTEA on, on the new collective bargaining agreement. I have several comments on agenda items, which I'll save for later, but for now, just a quick preview for our next meeting, uh, which is on Monday, May 13th. We will be celebrating our Governor's Educator of the Year recipients that evening. So all of our principals will be here to share what makes those individuals special to our organization. And without giving you any other information, I'll say there's also one additional uh, national award 
presentation that will take place for one of our staff members at that meeting as well. So uh, we have invited all of those teachers to be here and certainly invite the public to su su support us and support them in celebrating their accomplishments. Thank you, Dr. Mingle. We do not have a presentation or discussion on tonight's agenda, so we will move directly to committee reports. There is no committee report for Curriculum Technology Committee. So we have two reports for the Finance, Operations, and Security Committee, the first one being the meeting of March 26th. The Finance Committee met with all members present. This was an open meeting for the purpose of the community coming to ask questions about the budget. We did have a member of the community come and ask some really uh, great questions. Um, so I think that, that we can call that a success. Um, but that was the only purpose of that meeting. The Finance Committee also met on Monday, April 15th with all members and the alternate present. The meeting on the 15th of April consisted of briefly going back over the 24-25 budget where Mr. Hagel reported that the budget had been approved by the county office, was set to be advertised on April 22nd, and is tonight on the board's agenda for adoption as item B6. The committee then moved on to reviewing the five-year capital improvement plan prioritization. That is an ongoing process where the committee gave some feedback to the board's architect and the administration regarding priorities, and the board will be meeting again this week on the 1st to further discuss the prioritization of the capital improvement um, projects. Um, finally, the grant funds for the SDA grant were approved, and so the Warren Middle School Science Lab upgrades are ready to move forward. And that is all for the Finance Committee. Personnel Negotiations and Communications Committee, Ms. Kelly. We met on April 8th and reached an agreement on a contract between the WTEA and Warren Township Board of Ed, which we approved three minutes ago. Um, I'd like to thank the Board's Negotiation Committee for their work on this. And I'd also like to thank the WTEA negotiations team under the leadership of Mrs. Andrews and Mr. Jones for their participation in the process. Thank you, Ms. Keller. And there is no meeting to report on the ad hoc strategic planning committee. So at this point, we are moving to the final opportunity for public commentary regarding the budget. Um, this is the 2425 budget. We will have three opportunities tonight for the public to comment. This first opportunity is exclusively regarding the 2425 budget. So just as a reminder, I ask that anyone interested in addressing the board on this topic only, please raise their hand or use the raise your hand feature on Zoom. Each speaker is asked to limit their comments to three minutes. Please begin your comments by stating your name and address and by directing your comments to the presiding officer. Please know that the board welcomes and encourages input from the public, most particularly on our budget. Um, and so at this point, looking to the room and seeing nobody in the room, do we have anyone on Zoom that would like to be heard on the matter of the 2425 budget? Um, hey, Joe, Mr. Jim Kirby. Hi, sorry, I couldn't hear if it was if this is the proper uh, forum for my comments, but I just wanted to say thank you to the uh, WTEA's negotiating team um, and all the WTEA members for supporting us during the negotiations. And I wanted to say thank you to the board's negotiating team for meeting us at the table with positivity and, and with fairness. Um, everyone is very excited about this contract. So thank you guys for working with us on this. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Are there any other comments on Zoom regarding the budget? Seeing none, motion to close public commentary on the 2425 budget. Motion. Second. 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 All in favor? No. Opposed? Abstain. This first opportunity public commentary, which was restricted to the 2425 budget, has now closed. We will now move on to our second opportunity for public commentary. 
This is the second of three opportunities this evening. Um, all of the um, uh, restrictions and, and rules previously mentioned apply. Please raise your hand in Zoom um, if you wish to address the board or in public. This commentary opportunity is for items appearing on tonight's agenda. Do we have anyone in the room? Seeing none. Do we have anyone on Zoom who would like to make a comment regarding tonight's agenda items only? Seeing none, do I have a motion to close public commentary? Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. The second opportunity for public commentary has now closed. Dr. Mingle, do you have any items relating to tonight's action items? I do. I have, I have a few here. I'll go in order that they're on the agenda so people can follow along easily. Item A3, the 2023-2024 revised cal calendar. Annually at the meeting that follows spring break, the board adopts a revised calendar to reflect the actual last day of school based on the use of snow days. As our Mount Horeb families know, Mount Horeb was closed for one day when the rest of the district was open due to a building emergency. So we now have a, we have a staggered closure this year. The actual calendar graphic will be up on the district website tomorrow and will be shared in the community briefing on Friday. But just so everybody can mark their calendars, the last day of school for all schools except Mount Horeb for students will be on June 12th, which is a Wednesday. The last day of school for Mount Horeb for students will be on June 13th, which is a Thursday. Uh, so that's one day earlier than scheduled for Mount Horeb and two days earlier for the other schools. Again, that'll all be up on the website and communicated out by email by the end of the week. The uh, item B6, which is the budget adoption. There are no changes from the tentative budget that was approved last month. Uh, kudos to Mr. Hagel and his team and Mrs. Zahn and the Finance Committee and the full board on a successful budget season and approval from the county office and being able to move forward the district uh, that way. I also wanna bring everyone's attention to item B8, which is New Jersey CUSAC Performance Continuum Placement. This is the state's process for evaluating school districts. It's essentially a thorough audit of all of our operations, our student achievement outcomes and governance. It's, it's quite extensive. The district was rated as highly performing in that QSAC process, which is the highest rating we can get. That's good for three years. Congratulations to everybody at the board, our administrative staff, and our teaching and instructional staff, everybody involved in, in making sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing day in and day out. Item C2, this is really for the board members. We have our first employment of a WTEA eligible individual for next school year. Right now it says TBD for a salary. So I'm going to tell you the salary so that when you when you make a motion and second and vote on it, it's in, it's with the salary that's in the contract that you just approved in the, in the negotiations. That salary is 88,125, 88,125. That way we don't have to come back and do a second motion somewhere in the future. And then finally, I just want to address item C 17 and 18, which is the creation and abolishment of positions. This happens every year at the April meet at the second April meeting when there are two or the one April meeting when there's one. And this is to align our position control roster with what's in the budget and what we anticipate for the next year. So you'll see that as of right now, there's a net decrease in all likelihood by the time we get to the first day of school that will be eliminated through monthly additions of staff as we get more kindergarten registrants or other people moving in. But as of right now, that reflects our staffing needs for next year and it will fluctuate as we move forward. I think that's it for me on business. Agenda. Okay, thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Mingle. Does any board member have any item on the agenda they wish to pull for discussion or a separate vote? Seeing none, Ms. Keller. Motion to approve items for board consideration A1 through A6, B1 through B13, C1, C2 as modified, and C3 through C18. Motion. Second. Right. I'll call the roll. Mr. Gassay? Yes. Ms. Swipebaum? Yes. Ms. Keller? Yes. Mr. Malfetta? Yes. Mr. Otto? Yes. 
Mr. Tor? Yes. Mr. Valentino? Yes. Mr. Weinstein? Yes. Mrs. Hong? Yes. Great. All motions passed, and zero. We have no unfinished business on tonight's agenda. Moving on to new business, which is listed as the Watch on Hill Shared Services Regionalization Feasibility Study. At the April 9th meeting of the Watch on Hills Regional High School Board of Education, it was announced that after many years of effort, the high school and its co-applicant, the Watch on Borough Board of Education, had secured funding from the state for a shared service regionalization study. Shortly before this announcement, the Warren Board received and accepted an invitation to attend a meeting on April 23rd regarding the process and timeline for the study. I attended the meeting with Natalie Feichtbaum, who has accepted the role of our board's representative liaison to that steering committee. And with that, Ms. Feichtbaum. Thank you. Yes, so um, it was requested that a statement be provided by the members of the committee, so I'm going to read that now. With full funding from the state of New Jersey, a highly experienced Rowan University team led by former Warren Township Board of Education member Kathleen Haloa will be conducting a shared services regionalization study covering the Watchung Hills Re Regional, Watchung Borough, Warren Township, Long Hill Township, and Greenbrook Township School District. The Watchung Hills Regional and Watchung Borough School applied for and received a grant under the state's school re regionalization efficiency program, which funds the cost of the study at no cost to school districts or property taxpayers. The study will be conducted over the next year with input from an advisory committee that includes representatives from all five school boards, along with school administrators and municipal officials. The study will analyze educational programs for students from preschool through high school within the five districts, including curriculum coordination, special, special education programming, and transportation costs. It will provide a demographic analysis of future enrollment for the five districts, forecast state aid based on those enrollment projections, and evaluate future budget challenges. Based on this analysis, the study will provide recommendations for educational enhancements and any potential cost savings through various options, ranging from expansion of shared services in specific areas to full pre-K-12 regionalization. Members of the school boards met last week to hear from the Rowan School Regionalization Institute team on the methodology involved in the study, and it was agreed that transparency with the community and opportunities for feedback throughout the process will be important. There will be ongoing opportunities for community involvement throughout the study process beginning with informational Zoom session, with, with an informational Zoom session on Monday, May 20th at 7 p.m. A meeting recording will be posted on district websites following the session. Registration information will be forthcoming. Um, I'd also like to add, just to clarify, that the purpose of the grant is to conduct a feasibility study to explore whether regionalization would benefit the community. I also want to add that all recommendations will be subject to review and analysis of the board and that regionalization can only happen upon a public vote of support. That's all. Thank you, Ms. Fike. Now, does any board member have want to have a conversation about this? Comments, thoughts? Okay, seeing none, that's the end of new business. Moving on to the last opportunity for public commentary. This is the third opportunity for public commentary, and it is open to any topic you wish to raise to the board's attention. Again, I ask that you raise your hand or use the raise your hand feature on Zoom. Remember that comments are limited to three minutes, and please state your name and address before beginning. Looking first to the room. Moving on to Zoom. Is there anyone in our Zoom waiting room that, or Zoom audience that would like to speak on any topic? Please use the raise your hand feature. Seeing none. Do I have a motion, motion to close. <laughs> Second, anyone? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? The last opportunity for public commentary for this board meeting has been closed. Do I have a motion, Ms. Keller? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? 
Aye. Opposed? Abstain? This board meeting has ended. Thank you.